people are, they, a lot of people think people care about them more than they do. If you approach a girl and you talk and you try and talk to her and you fail completely, within 30 seconds, she's forgotten. Mm. You come over and you're awkward Fetch. and, and you, fu and you fuck up and you fall over or something embarrassing, whatever, whatever. 30 seconds later, she's, she's moved on. She's back on Instagram. Yep. She Welcome to the lost boys. Now, this is absolutely true. I can relate to this because uh, when I was fighting um, MMA, I uh, that's what I used to to give me strength. I get knocked out. I'm just uh, no. First of all, no one knows me enough. That's when I started. But then things. Right now, if you compete, you get knocked out. Things will go viral. Things will go viral. You can have a million a million people watch you. You get knocked out. And that people will forget. People will forget it. And even if they don't forget it, it stops having the same impact. Um, the universe is so, so, so big, so huge. And if we're so infinitely small and insignificant, that what you feel, if that girl rejects you, and the scheme of things, it doesn't really matter. So asking a girl out, it's the easiest thing in the world. Going up and asking a girl for her number is the easiest thing in the world. Getting rejected is the easiest thing in the world. It doesn't hurt anything. It might hurt your pride a little bit, but that's just a that's just a reaction of your brain, like being embarrassed. You're not really hurt by being embarrassed. It's just for some reason your brain reacts to the situation, makes you never makes you not want to repeat those situations. But sometimes you have to trick your brain. So that's one of those things. I, I, I would suggest that, um, and I'm only suggesting this because this channel's Lost Boys and I'm a little bit older. Maybe there's someone younger listening to this. Um, Lost Boys to us is, you know, man that grew up with broken homes, man that grew up, you know, without structure and, and we're still kind of lost. Guys like us, we don't like getting rejected. Men in general don't like getting rejected. But if you've already been getting rejected since you were a kid, once you get older, getting rejected hurts a little bit more. And it creates serial, serial killers and psychopaths and, and, and fucking porn addicts and all sorts of shit. You know, people blame it a lot on porn. The fact that people just do porn and jerk off all day, but I blame that shit a lot on people just not knowing how to take rejection, you know? It's easier to just not get rejected and go jerk off to Mia Khalifa than to go ask Mia Khalifa out. And her say, "Ick, no." I was a fat kid when I was growing up, so that "ick, no," I'm used to that shit. A lot of people aren't. Um, so that's basically it. That's how Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate's take on asking a girl out. It's it's really nothing in the scheme of things. Oh, one thing I was gonna suggest before I go, I would suggest you ask out strangers more than people that you're um, personally around co-workers and stuff like that even though it's very hard to avoid but it's better to be rejected by someone that you don't know that you have to see the next day because even, even though it may not be true you start feeling like they have something on you i feel that way once i ask a girl and she rejects me and if i'm gonna be around her day in and day out i'm like oh shit you know now this girl knows that i, I like her she might you know i just don't like people knowing that they have something over me or on me so for you to remain powerful, I would suggest you do not ask out women around you. You let them ask you out. You should be man enough that the woman around you ask you out, throw you signs. Want to go have sex with you, you know, after you, you guys work or whatever the hell is, it, it, it is the case with you guys. I'm no longer single, so I don't, but when I was single, that that's how I moved. But just a friendly advice, um, Lost Boys Edition. Andrew Tate.